Artificial intelligence is undeniably monumental and beneficial in certain aspects for modernity, specifically the issue of workforce in the marketplace. I concur with Stuart Russell, a computer scientist and pioneer for artificial intelligence, that countries have largely gained economic success due to using humans as if they were working robots. And I also believe that utilizing artificial intelligence could make way for a more utopian society rooted in leisure and freedom. Nevertheless, the market playing a significant role in these advancements of artificial intelligence is probably the most concerning aspect for me as well. Can we really ensure that these corporations are not feeding our mind private consumer data to computers as a tool to increase their intelligence for later manipulation and control? You know, obviously there are positive outcomes to creating intelligent beings, or people would have never begun that endeavor in the first place. But I think that solely focusing on optimistic results is audaciously ignorant and a disservice to not only the future of artificial intelligence, but humanity as a whole. We really must shift this conversation to what rules we truly want to give our machines and who we are giving control of such powerful technologies, as we really may later regret the consequences of our actions of today. Now let me take a moment to further clarify my concerns uh, regarding regretting the consequences of our actions today, because I think that our current societal paradigm regarding, regarding the handling of our private information is central in the future framework of artificial intelligence. As Byung-Chul Han, philosopher and author of Transparency Society notes, the problem with transparency is even though it initially seems positive and constructive, think about aiding in the access of infinite knowledge, uh, ability to express oneself freely, instant worldwide communication, um, it eventually leads to the loss of privacy and willing exploitation among individuals. Now while Han is talking about the internet and does not directly discuss artificial intelligence, he still is scrutinizing our current technologically influenced lifestyle of panopticism. Thus, when contemplating our future, it is crucial to deliberate the influences of our present day culture so profoundly saturated in technological dependence, constant stimulation, and consumer manipulation. We really must be careful about relying on machines because they are objectively more intelligent and their capabilities are still unknown. Just as the rise of transparency masked itself as innovative and advantageous, the idea of artificial intelligence is being sold to consumers as an appealing and beneficial alternative to capitalism. Robots working in factories, um, you know, self-driving cars, robotic doctors in Africa, all of these possibilities are targeted for the consumer as positive substitutes to promote a more leisurely lifestyle, which sounds strikingly similar to how social media platforms and the rise of the internet were marketed, all while our information was quietly being stored and sold for future manipulation. So this lack of conversation regarding the realistic social and eth ethical implications will inevitably lead to some kind of multifarious weaponization of artificial intelligence. Mainly, I'm mostly apprehensive about entrusting the leaders of a capitalist society with our private information because it allows them to then control the narrative and future of artificial intelligence. For instance, as Sebastian Thrun, a professor of computer science at Stanford argues, if a computer can observe a repetitive task and accurately replicate what people do, then in the hands of the wrong people, that intelligence can then be easily weaponized. And also, as Russell notes in the Ray Suarez's uh, NPR segment, all humans are different, and artificial intelligence will have to understand individual preferences in, in order to obtain um, that super intelligence. So if you think about that, theoretically, um, a solution to this problem would be to feed mass amounts of user data to these computers until they can perfectly replicate human behavior and decision making. Hey, decision making. So does this sound familiar? Um, lest we not forget of the quiet uprising of data mining and selling of our personal information to which Jeremy Rifkin alludes to in his biotech century lecture and the way in which it has ingrained itself into our economy with no consequence or regulation. So I think we must understand that if we live in a society that is rooted in capitalist culture, promoting complete transparency and exploitation, coupled with corporations who commoditize our private information, why would the future of artificial intelligence be any different than that? And I worry that we are not really realizing that by giving up all of our most sacred information, that we are allowing these corporations to sell us data for artificial intelligence to become more like humans. So the slow rise of data mining has desensitized our society into giving away our information. 
And then not only have we given companies like Google, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Amazon, Apple, um, the list can go on, the entirety of our private information. In some cases, we have even enthusiastically paid them to take it, like 23andMe and Ancestry.com. So in the terms and agreements of these companies, it mentions that the information is never discarded. So it really makes me wonder what their long-term goal of storing copious amounts of private and biological information is. Our private information could be used by these corporations for the advancements of artificial intelligence, and if we are aware that computers are capable of exceeding human intelligence rather quickly, for instance, the computer um, who easily learned to outplay chess players within hours, how could we ever be confident we truly understand the workings of artificial intelligence, given that they are fed the entirety of human data? They could possibly predict any individual's decision based on their social media information, their history as a consumer, what their private messages say, their Google search history. But despite my disdain for our transparent society and my qualms about companies storing data, I'm not really against artificial intelligence, nor do I think Byung Chul Han or Jeremy Rifkin would be, or Stuart Russell. The most important thing I'm trying to say is that we really must hold these companies reliable and quit allowing ourselves to be exploited. I think people seldom think about the unintended consequences of transparency because we have purposely been gradually desensitized to it, but we need to remember that these corporations initially sold transparency as a positive function, and they will ultimately do the same for artificial intelligence.